One of the things that has been puzzling even the most casual observers of the COVID-19 outbreak is why some people and some parts of the world are so much more affected than others. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here again now with some preliminary research into some of those reasons. Doc? Yeah, Steve and Sandra, you know, early on when parts of the world like Italy were being ravaged by COVID-19, people wondered why. Was it that they had been, spread, had been spreading silently there? Was it related to different social customs? Or was there something genetically different about the population? Now, we still aren't sure, but genetics seem to be important. Several months ago, a research paper looking at patients in Wuhan and Shenzhen, China, suggested having type A blood was associated with a higher risk of acquiring COVID-19 than other types, and type O blood appeared to have the lowest risk of infection. Now, this paper remains unpublished and has not gone through peer review. Subsequently, though, a group of researchers at Columbia University in New York looked at the blood type and severity of disease in over 1,500 patients diagnosed with COVID-19. They also found a higher proportion of blood type A patients and a lower proportion of patients with type O blood who were COVID-19 positive. They did not, however, find that blood type had any relationship to the risk of requiring intubation or dying from COVID-19. Now, this paper is also preliminary and currently unpublished, but taken together, both of these papers raise the question of how someone's blood type and ultimately their genetics could be important. Two more, even newer studies are trying to answer that. A preprint study from Germany evaluated the genome of nearly 2,000 patients with COVID-19 respiratory failure from seven hospitals in Italy and Spain. They found variations in a person's genes in at least two particular places in the human genome were associated with an increased risk of respiratory failure. One of those places includes the gene for blood type. Now, the final newest bit of information suggests a link between blood type and COVID susceptibility comes from a preliminary release of information by the company 23andMe. Now, they haven't formally published any data yet, but they say their early analysis similarly found people with type O blood were less likely to have tested positive. Back to you.